everyone, welcome to another video. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Layton. I'm so glad you're here. This video is probably gonna be a days in my life. Don't know exactly how long it's gonna be yet. Today is Monday, it's currently 5 43 p.m. and I'm working a night shift tonight so of course I wanted to vlog my night and then I'm gonna also vlog the next few days following which I don't work it's just this one night tonight and you'll know how I feel about working nights so not gonna lie I'm pretty anxious right now but um, I tried to sign up for today day shift last night, but they were fully staffed for everything until the weekend, except for Monday night, which is tonight. I already am working this upcoming Saturday day shift because that was one of my two PRN shifts that I was already scheduled for, but I really needed to pick up another shift and this was the only one available. So it's gonna be fine. It's just one night shift. I can do it. I just went on a little walk, so that's nice. I always like to do that when I work nights, like go outside, get some fresh air, get some sun, or when it's like winter time like this, at least see the sunset. So I went on a little sunset walk, so that made me feel a lot better, got some fresh air. I didn't take a nap or anything, I just tried to sleep in as late as I could. I made myself stay up pretty late last night. I actually started the documentary on Netflix called Twin Flames, which is insane absolutely crazy and was able to stay up till about 3 a.m. and then I went to sleep. I woke up this morning initially at like 10 something but I kept forcing myself to go back to sleep. I forced myself to stay in bed till like almost 1 like 12 45. I felt like I was forcing myself to be a bum. So yeah that's what's going on. I basically am already ready. I just need to pack my lunch in my snacks and everything I'm taking. All right, here is everything that I'm packing. I made a sandwich with turkey, cheese, and spinach, and then some sauce for that, some grapes, some of these at Belveda, crackers, a Lara bar, a chalk stick, some nuts, and then some of this candy. There's literally barely anything in there, but I don't think I'm gonna eat all this. This is a lot of food. I just wanted to take as much as possible, just in the chance that I am really struggling to stay awake and just need to constantly be snacking on something i wanted to have options so this is everything we're bringing and then of course my water and then i'm taking this energy drink this is a yerba mate tea this is a different brand than the brand that i used to drink and i really like these these are carbonated this flavor is watermelon strawberry and it's so good i specifically and bringing this flavor because i remember the last time i had this flavor i really felt the caffeine so <laughs> i'm taking that one to keep me awake <laughs> I just made this smoothie, kind of as like my dinner, I guess. But this is really good. It's coconut water, spinach, frozen banana, frozen cherries, chocolate protein powder, and some peanut butter. Tonight, I'm gonna wear this sweatshirt. I like to wear this sweatshirt to my night shifts because it has the moon and the clouds and the stars. I like to call it my night shift sweatshirt even though I still wear it on day shifts, but the link is in my description. I'm feeling a little bit better now, but I was just feeling so off today. I think partly because I knew I was having to work tonight, which is a big part of it. But then also, I don't know, it's just been so great outside. I always forget every year how great it is around this time, like December 4th today. I don't know, it's just been so gray and gloomy. And I always forget that it really kind of does affect me. The seasonal gloom, just been feeling a little bit off, but it's okay. Praying the shift goes well. I pray that I will have intermediate care babies that are easy, no admission, and the families, if they're there, will be nice families, and it will just be a very, steadily chill night. Fingers crossed. shift excuse this whack lighting the sun is like beaming directly into my window and then my cabinet's blocking part of it it feels so good to be home also yeah 
the sun's out so that was so nice to see this morning i feel like it hasn't been sunny in so long so that's nice to see some sun but what do i still have my name tag on oh my gosh it's time to go to bed it's time to get some sleep i actually felt really good throughout the shift i'm very proud of my body because i really didn't even get that tired I think it's just because I was like steadily doing things. Y'all saw me on camera pray for what my assignment would be. And that's basically what it was. I was so grateful. I had um, three intermediate care babies and then I was third IMC admission. So, and we didn't get any babies. So it was a little stressful at first just because discharges can be a little chaotic. One of my babies was supposed to get discharged during the day and then like the mom kept saying she was on the way and then kept not showing up and it was like hours later so turns out they couldn't get a ride anyway so they ended up coming during the night shift we had to do the car seat test where the baby sits in the car seat for 90 minutes and can't have any brady d sat episodes um because that baby was previously on oxygen so I had to do that and then do all the paperwork and all the discharge stuff and then they didn't end up leaving till around midnight, which is not normal. Like they, if they do a discharge during night shift, it's like early in the night, so. But because they had already planned to do it during the day and like already had all the orders and everybody was aware the baby was supposed to go home, we were able to go through with it. So that definitely kept me busy for like the beginning of the shift, but then once that baby was gone, then I only had two. So that was nice. One of mine had just gotten blood yesterday for having a low crit. So the baby was previously full feeds, but then it had to be on fluids from the blood. And the baby was NPO all night till um, like 5 a.m. was the first feed I could give. So I gave that feed, but then we couldn't go all the way up on feeds yet because they wanted at least 12 hours of um, half feeds and half fluids. But then the IV went out, so. I did have to go ahead and start a new IV. I was proud of myself though because I usually don't like to stick the arm in babies. I don't know. I just feel like I'm not that much of a pro at IVs and babies. They're tricky. I went for the arm and I didn't quite get it. It looked like I was right on it, but I didn't want to keep digging around. I was like, before I pull this IV out and give up, I'm just going to see if somebody can come fix it. So I got the charge nurse to come see if she could get it in with that same needle. So then she just kind of adjusted it a little bit and was able to get it in. So that was exciting. Like I halfway got it on my first try in the arm. so nice also it's so nice how dark my room gets in my new apartment in my last apartment i had those huge windows and i didn't have blinds and i had blackout curtains but still the blackout curtains were like a light color they got pretty bright in my room but my room in here there's no windows it has the door to the bathroom and then like the big nice sliding door so when that sliding door is closed it gets so dark in here i have my I do have my red light on right now, so there's a little bit of light, but I'm about to sleep so good. It literally just turned 9 o'clock on the dot. I think I'm going to set my alarm for, for 1.30 or 2 around there. That gives me like 4 or 5-ish hours of sleep to where I'm rested. Not too rested to where I can't go to sleep at a somewhat normal hour tonight.
10 days, these athletes will cross 400 miles climbing, biking, and kayaking. That does. Right. Just went grocery shopping. Reagan's here. <laughs> We're about to go on our walk. What's new? But I gotta unload my stuff really quick. I went to Kroger today instead of Sprouts. Oh, also, I got my nails done. Do you like? <gasps> they look so festive. I got green for Christmas. She's so festive. At first I was gonna get like a dark brown and then I changed my mind because I forgot like wait Christmas, do duh. Hair. Get them. Okay, I like it better now. In there it looked really bright and I was kind of mm -hmm. like, I tried to get them to add a chrome but none of the chrome colors were right and I was like, it's fine. They look great. Thank you. I do like it. I was gonna do red but I got red last time I got my nails done. Got some apples. Strawberries. Chips. Some organic chicken breasts. Oh, look. Mm. This was a hard decision because you know I don't I don't drink creamer like this anymore. Like coffee mate, because it's really not good for you. But I had to get something peppermint mocha and there was nothing else in the store. So I was like, I'll just do a dash of this with my organic whole milk. That's perfect. You know, just a dash for a little flavor. I had to, it's okay. It's Christmas time. Some more olive oil. Did I say orange juice? Some tortillas, some pickles. I saw these on the way out and I was like, you want a pickle? I see you looking. You already know. <laughs> some limes. Oh, look what I found. What do you think about this? You know, Alani, the energy drink? I saw these. It's like, <laughs> can y'all hear her chewing her pickle in the camera? But they had like Alani energy sticks. Ooh. So I wanted to try that. Blueberry, Irish grass-fed butter. Fresh Pico, some more organic maple syrup, because I love to put this in my coffee, and some of the raw, unfiltered honey. This is, what is it called? Oh yeah, the Nate's honey. Organic strawberry jelly. Have you had this? Mm -mm. It's so good. Black bean hummus, delicious. I'm gonna have a fire crock pot chicken. Fire. Gas. Gas. <laughs> the boys in Knoxville used to say that, so that was like the first time I've heard someone say that. In yes. yes! That's it for uh, my grocery haul. I'm gonna put this up and then we're gonna go on our walk and get a coffee. She has some gas pickles. One more thing I wanna show. You know, wait, what are they called? Uh, straw covers. I always take this cup to work and you know, all the nurses use them. I always just clean it with an alcohol wipe, but I ordered some and I got these cute festive Christmas ones. Oh, they're cute. Oh, I like the oh, mitten. I like the mitten. A mitten? <gasps> this one? It's a bow. That's cute. That's cute. This one's really good. <laughs> and then some regular ones. Anything to spice up anything. They look Mario. Work. They look Mario? Oh, because the cloud. Uh -huh. The clouds do look Mario. <laughs> cute. <laughs> Flower. <gasps> I like the strawberry. Oh, Reagan, you want this one for Slade? I do. Here. Thank you. show y'all my newly because it came in and I'm so excited about the stuff I got this month because you know some months if you do newly I'm sure you can relate some months just I don't love my things or I feel like I just don't do the best job of picking out cute stuff it's like my last one was when it was kind of a weird transition time for weather I'm just excited about the stuff I picked out for this one so I wanted to show y'all. I haven't tried anything on yet though, so fingers crossed that everything fits. First, I got these black leather pants. I'm nervous about how these are gonna fit because they're made to be like a wider trouser type fit of leather. I think they're also lower waisted, which I think will be super cute if it fits right. Okay, and then I guess we'll keep going with the pants. I also got these red leather pants. Very excited about these as well. They also have like a looser fit, but these are kind of tighter than the other ones. I just love this color and red is really in this fall as well. So these are just a very classic 
straight leg jean, which is what I need. So again, hopefully these fit. They had good reviews, so I'm feeling confident. Okay, then I got two tops. So this first one is this black cropped top. And I just love the cool neckline. And obviously, this is the reason why I got it. I'm obsessed. It's got these cool mesh sleeves with these beautiful red flowers. And then the other top I got is this red velvety top. It's kind of got a little bit of puffy sleeves. I just love necklines like this too. I think they're so pretty. just love this velvety material. It's got this pretty design as well. I got this jacket. I'm in love. It's like this really cool vintage looking bomber jacket. This beautiful brown distressed material. And I love that the accent of the sleeve and the collar is black. You can wear it with like a black based outfit or like a more brown tan based outfit, which I really like because it makes it really versatile. And I think you can dress it up, dress it down. We love a versatile jacket. So yeah, that's everything I got to my newly this month. I'm about to try this stuff on. Then I'm going to throw that chicken in the crock pot before I head to practice. So then I can eat it when I come home. Hi you guys, I'm back from practice and I'm so sad because I completely forgot to vlog and I brought my camera and everything. I think I just got sidetracked because our coach was sick. I'm sad, I totally forgot to vlog and it would have been a really good day to vlog, but it's fine, next time. But yes, I just got home and I didn't vlog it because I was in a rush to leave, but I literally threw my chicken breasts in the crock pot with the taco seasoning right before I walked out the door for practice. And it was perfect timing because I just got home. I put it on high, so it was like three, four hours. And I took it out and shredded it and mixed it all up. It tastes delicious and I know I said I was gonna do like fajita toppings but it's 10 30 and i am not about to do all that i don't feel like chopping vegetables chopping an onion and cooking that on the stove i'm just not in the mood so i'm just gonna um warm up some tortillas and just like make some shredded chicken tacos with basic toppings so I need to do a little bit of tidying up, put new sheets on my bed, and I'll probably end the vlog off tomorrow. I wanna wake up and do a productive morning, and then it's my mom's birthday, so I'm gonna get lunch with her and my sister. All right, I'm gonna go eat this, but I will talk to y'all in the morning. Hey guys, it is the next day. It's 3.50. I just got back from hanging out with my mom and sister and doing some shopping. It was so nice to hang out with them. I feel bad though because my mom was kind of getting over a sickness so she wasn't feeling very well. But it was still nice to hang out. Before I go inside, I wanted to show y'all what I got at Nordstrom. I mainly went because I really needed some black booties. I only had one pair of black booties and I wore them so much they officially are broken. The sole is literally completely off of the bottom. So I'm very excited with what I got. I got two pairs of black boots, like a short black booty heel and then some tall boots and they're really cute. I got them on for such a good deal, such a good sale. So we love that. And then I also got three sweaters because they were on such good sales and they were so cute. I thought this pink was so pretty. It's got the nice turtleneck and it's the perfect length to where you can like kind of tuck it into your pants in the corner and it's super flattering love this color another sweater that's like the same kind of shape but how cute it's like this nice black and white with a little turtleneck very nice quality knit sweater i thought this would be so cute with some black leather pants and black boots this was originally 102 dollars and i got it for 39 so again such a nice steal look how pretty this also was a good length to where it looks cute kind of tucked into the corner of your pants you know and i just thought the colors were so pretty and it's very subtle like it's not too much but it's unique and fun at the same time and then the insides is purple color and it kind of shows through 
this cream. These are the tall shoes I got. Very classic, very simple, super comfortable. Originally $170 and I got them for $59. Like, these are my short booties that I got. Just a nice, classic, simple, chunky booty. Originally $79 and I got them for $29. That's my little haul for you guys. Now before I close out this vlog, I wanted to give y'all a little job update. Um, so by now, you guys know my situation. I'm like looking for a new additional job um, that I can have full time and do with Grizz Girls and YouTube and just all my extra stuff. So something that would work with my schedule and just something that's more structured. How I've just been craving a job that I enjoy going to and that's not stressful and that just allows me to have good work-life balance is my biggest thing that I'm looking for is being able to attain work-life balance and have a stable income, all that good stuff. So I just want to say thank you for everybody who commented on my last video and all the wonderful recommendations. It was so interesting hearing what y'all do or just any recommendations that you had. It was super helpful and interesting. So thank you for sharing. There's one really good surgery center in the Memphis area that I applied to. Um, I applied to the PACU there, pre-op and the OR. Um, the OR, they said that you had to have at least a year of OR experience, which I understand. And then they said the PACQ position was already filled or already closed, so I only qualified for the pre-op one. They moved my application forward for the pre-op. They're just trying to make sure that I get my ACLS certification because it's required. So they've been checking on that. But that's the update. I can't wait to bring you along on this journey. All right guys, I just ran out of camera footage because I have all these videos for vlogs that I haven't edited yet. So that is my sign to say, that'll be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.